bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria and God bless the United States of America. The, the dinner tonight is not the first collaboration we're going to be having together. Um, Petan and SDMB have uh, a long history of uh, collaboration. Let's think what else can we do to collaborate more effectively, strategically, to deliver the capital projects and operating projects in Nigeria. To put everybody under an umbrella that we can really make a powerful statement internationally. You talk about a bridge building. You talk about expanding a U.S. Nigerian relations. I've heard so much dynamic messages uh, that we're all on the same page. If we can help you in any way, shape, or form in terms of building the bridges that you're forging, it'll be a privilege to help you out. For our nations are better when we are friends uh, at the table of negotiation, cementing agreements, and continue to build the opportunity for all of our people. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It means we want you to work harder. <laughs> to take this award in recognition to give to the minister as an offer. <laughs> and this offer is for him to deliver. We want an industry where there will be so much activities. Where well, we we'll provide enough gas for electricity, right. where well, we we'll have enough petroleum products, yes, where well, all the we we'll create a lot of entrepreneurs. So we we'll hand over to the ladies and gentlemen. What I have here is Petroleum Technology Association of Nigeria 2016 Leadership Award to Dr. Emmanuel Kadibe Kachiku. Honorable Minister of State for Petroleum Resources. In recognition of your leadership and outstanding contribution to the development of the Nigerian oil and gas industry. Signed by Bankatu Nokoran for Chairman and Lawa Akwara and Secretary. Petan has come a long way. And without the commitment, without taking those risks, without taking the chance, Petan will not be where it is today. So again, special thanks to all the producing companies that are here today and those that are represented. Let Nigeria be a place where we deliver projects that are most competitive in terms of their capital expenditure and in terms of operating expenditure. If we all go with that theme, we have something to work together on. I think in a year from now, with this oil price, we will have projects even going further than what they're doing today. So um, and the belief of Total is that um, we believe in the long term. We believe in partnership with the country. We believe in partnership with Nigeria. Um, <laughs> doing us proud as a nation, making us happy as a people, and grabbing global awards of excellence. Join me in welcoming Managing Director and CEO, Seplas Petroleum Development <laughs> Company. Mr. Austin Aburu. Um, Nigerian producers have come under an umbrella called uh, Independent Petroleum Producers Group, IPPG. Um, 
Kimala Dilibero is our president. And um, um, you can see the CEO of the Conde um, is here. CEOs of other independents are all here. For us, uh, everybody who has spoken has talked about their support for better. Um, we do not support better. We are Petan's first cousins. <laughs> and together, we are committed to building and trenching domestic energy security in Nigeria. <laughs> we, with Petan, have determined that we'll help the Honorable Minister and his team um, help him to get the country out of the woods of believing that oil and gas can only generate revenue uh, into establishing the fact that oil and gas will create opportunities, create domestic energy security, and actually be the backbone of the larger economy. Please let me welcome Honorable Victor Mokolo. To ensure that that has been possible in the past, we will make possible with the HSMB talking about what is worrisome, what everybody keeps wondering, when shall it be? It's going to be in this state assembly. We'll get it done. The next speaker is someone I love to introduce for a lot of reasons. Um, too many reasons, I feel I will just give. Number one reason is the fact that um, she is passionate about Nigeria, that she founded and is co-chairing a caucus in the Congress of the United States that oversees on issues concerning Nigeria. She's also so passionate about Nigeria that in the last 12 months, she had had cause to visit Nigeria on two occasions, bringing businessmen and women from America to Nigeria to meet their counterparts, and of course, also extending that relationship to government and legislative policies. That is not enough, but little wonder. She, I'm told, is overseeing a congressional district in the United States that has over 200,000 Nigerians. So ladies and gentlemen, every time I have the opportunity, as I said, it's my pleasure to introduce to you the Congresswoman representing Texas 18th Congressional District, a woman so passionate about Nigeria that she can pass as a dual citizen, Nigerian being one. Welcome with me, the Honorable Sheila Jackson. My words are, are simply this. We and in Nigeria and the energy industry, and I will maintain that Houston is the energy industry of uh, the uh, um, energy capital of the world still, uh, in spite of the many challenges that all of us are facing. But Nigeria and uh, the United States have been connected for uh, more than probably six decades. And we have seen the relationships uh, go, uh, if you will, uh, in many different directions. But I'm excited about where we are today. I am formerly an energy lawyer, having worked for Fulbright and Jaworski, a major law firm, and representing companies like Exxon uh, in the courts on challenges based upon the regulation of government. So when I went to government, I not, had not only uh, the understanding, but as a practicing lawyer, I represented energy companies. And then I went on to another side of the business, which is gas, gas pipelines. So I think I come with a fairly uh, deep understanding of both business and energy, but I have a unique background. I'll say it in this place, I am a Democrat. And so I believe in helping people. Uh, and I believe that you can do all of that. I will not get into your party politics, but the thing that we should remember in Nigeria, that the energy industry should help the people of Nigeria. Should it not? No matter whether they're becoming teachers or whether they are building roads or whether or not they're doctors or whether or not they're scientists, the energy industry, which is the anchor of your infrastructure, your economic infrastructure, can help and be the seed for helping so many others. It is uh, my privilege uh, to now present uh, a number of acknowledgments from the United States Congress. As I indicated, I'm very uh, happy to uh, acknowledge Rockwater Consulting Group. We have met each other. We've seen her work and uh, the work of Rockwater. If you could come forward to receive this acknowledgement. We can welcome her now. Uh, 
Um, and uh, what can I say about uh, this great association, Petna? Would you please come forward and accept the recognition uh, for this strategic stakeholder event? And the new chairman is coming. Give him a very big hand. He has a big responsibility as a carry forward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, to the, uh, come join him, he says, uh, can I uh, acknowledge the uh, Minister of um, Energy, the Petroleum Technology Association of Nigeria, uh, but the Minister of Energy for Nigeria and its energy company uh, is not here. If his assistant will come forward, please, to receive it for Dr. Mary Katini. And do we have a representative from the Nigerian Content Board? Nigerian Content Board, would you come forward as well? And I will read, uh, each of them are receiving um, a tribute to them, but all of them conclude by saying, you are deserving of uh, the community's utmost esteem for your gracious contributions and are indeed worthy of the respect, admiration, and commendation of the United States Congress. It's my privilege to present these to all of these distinguished individuals. She has, she has given out these recognitions to that is deserving groups and individuals. But of course, Congresswoman Ma'am, once you've done that, I'd like for you to join me back on the podium. We also want to say a big thank you to you. Thank you, Madam. Um, on behalf of uh, Better, we present this um, flag to you in recognition of your support and your love for Nigeria. And we also hope that this love and encouragement will continue in the years to come. Thank you very much. So here we are, and this toast, uh, Shafi, we want to raise a toast to a toast to synergy collaboration and partnership. Um, the energy industry wants to extend its hands like the Congressman has said to other areas of our economy. If we can raise our glasses. To, to collaboration, synergy and partnership, international partnership. Amen. I kind of started counting the number of times the word times have been used here. And I counted like 136. We have very generous people today, you know, all the speakers. And then I asked how many people are in the hall that we are moving. So I think of what? If you have 136 times, 130 people, why am I up here? But my member said I have to say something. I have to say some thanks. I have to thank all of you who have gathered here. Uh, our special invitee, thank you for your message that you bring. It's uplifting and it's challenging. And they tell me also to thank you for what you have committed to do. The vibrance and vitality you're going to bring to the industry. We're waiting for that. That's, that's what that was for the guy. So take that message, please, to the Honorable Minister. And we're thanking you in advance. All right, I want to thank our senior, you know, we define the uncles today, we have some, uh, we decide the cousins, we have some uncles, you know, when your dad doesn't give you something, you go to your rich uncle, um, represented here by the GED, that's and our brother, the Matthews, who is uh, around here, we thank you all for coming, we thank um, the elected officials from Nigeria and the representative of the Texas District 18, Sheila Jackson Lee, for all the message and all the good things we said. We have um, our cousins, independent and international. We thank you all <laughs> for being here. Special thanks from Peter. Last but not least, cannot be least. I just want to thank everybody. Oh, please, I didn't just mention some other people. There are people who organize this event. I know Rockwater is involved, and she's come here to take some moments of glory. But there are some Peter, 
CEOs who devoted a lot of time to organizing the event. I don't know the chairman of the OTC organizing committee, Ranti Omole, I don't know if you are around here. Ranti, we have to give you a lot of credit. I've worked in his shoes and I tell him he teaches a lot. So I was quite pleased and quite happy to reach, step out of those shoes and let him step into them. Um, and then we have some of our friends from the US here, some of the companies, a lot of our business partners who are sitting here, who took their time to come and stay with us. We say thank you, the town values you, we appreciate what you're doing, and please, anybody who has come here, for whatever reason, to be here. Right from the time I was little, I went to church, and I heard that sermon of a guy who set the feast, and nobody cared. Every time I'm part of planning something, I kind of close my eyes, I always dream of that event. And imagine I come to the hall, and there's nobody. So when you come, and everybody's here, it's a great thing to thank all of you. Let me not forget our NCA BMD brothers who have been holding our back all the time. Thank you all. If I haven't mentioned you, please, and if you're in this hall, know that we appreciate you. We thank you for being with us.